Okay, folks, that Russian space probe going to Phobos never made it into orbit, never fired its secondary booster, so if they can't get this fixed in the next couple of days, they're either going to have to blow it out of the sky or let it fall to Earth with uh, all the toxic fuel that it's got on it. If you look on the top right-hand side of the sun here on Stereo B, Earth's off to the right, that's the coronal mass ejection that came out of Solar Active Region 11342 uh, earlier today, uh, just following an M flare that they had there as well. You can see here, uh, Earth also Earth also off to the right, you can see a coronal mass ejection coming out of the southern hemisphere before the big one coming out of the top. Looking here on the SDO AIA on the bottom left, you can see the first coronal mass ejection lift off, and there's the big one coming off the top from 11342. Looking from above at El Hero and the surface stain from the volcano going off underneath it, what I think is really curious about this photo, and it's not the only one you can find, <clears throat> is this ring that you can see in the clouds. I'm not saying this is uh, man-made or anything, but it's not the first time we've seen this, so curious to see what you guys have to say. We had a pretty big aftershock in uh, Turkey today, and some buildings collapsed. Uh, apparently they were weakened by the initial shock. We're still waiting for details. Two nuclear events in the United States today, one in uh, Michigan and one in Idaho, where some workers were actually contaminated with uh, plutonium, and uh, some others were exposed. In Alaska, they're really bearing uh, in the Bering Sea. They're really uh, buckling down for the storm that's coming and there were some earthquakes under the Kotla volcano and remember folks that's a big one. Smoke ring would go all the way around the world. Uh, really hope that one doesn't go off. Uh, looking up for a HARP update here we can look on the total electron content and you can see we're way above normal uh, which is between 20 and 25 on this chart. Even yesterday, where we didn't uh, go as high as predicted, we were still way above normal. Uh, also above normal, the critical frequencies on our F2 layer, uh, and F1 layer for that matter. But basically, this is indicating that our ionosphere is really strong. It's getting a lot of solar plasma that's coming through our magnetosphere. So let's watch the sun, folks, and uh, let's watch what's going on with Italy. Be safe.